Hey guys, what's up? Spartan 85 here. Welcome to another console seven days to die tips and tricks video. This is my third one I'm making. So if you haven't watched the first two, I'll put the links down below. Um, I might be mentioning some stuff in this video that references those other videos. So you might want to go back and watch them. You don't have to, but uh, this is the third one in the line. So there's, it, there's other tips and tricks in those videos if you want to check them out. So this is the third one. Uh, the first tip I'm going to cover was a tip and my last video I asked for some tips that you guys would like to see in these videos and so uh, someone named behind the mask obscure and I'll go and put his comment up on the screen now it's kind of a long one but the top one he mentions is that you can wrench down bird's nest for extra feathers so uh, I know on on a PC you can take your stone axe and whack these down and get extra feathers but I didn't know about the wrench so we're gonna test this right now so I got a bird's nest right here let's search it we have 10 feathers in there so we have 10 in our inventory let's go and wrench this thing apart so looks like now I have 13 so you'll get a couple extra feathers if you're really hunting for feathers by wrenching these apart and sometimes you search them and they don't have feathers they only have eggs in there um, so that's a pretty good tip. That's tip number one is wrench down bird's nest pretty much. Uh, he also goes on to say um, that you can wrench apart ceiling fans and lights and industrial components to get basic electrical parts and components and then go to the workbench and craft uh, your own porch ceiling lights for to raise your science level and to sell those items back at the trader for exorbitant amounts of money. So we're going to try that in just a minute. He also goes on to talk about brass. Brass is a big one game. You don't harvest brass like from the ground like you do everything else. So uh, you can take take down sinks and faucets inside houses. I get iron a lot from those things. But if you're on the hunt for brass, you can you can take those things down. So let's go ahead and let's venture. Um, let's go and test out these other theories that he's got real quick. And Okay, so I just stopped at the POI. It's the Brother Theater, and it's got some light fixtures here. So just let's try out this theory. I've done this on PC, but I haven't tried this on console. So let's wrench these apart. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we got several uh, electrical parts, and I think we're going to get the same from this one too. I think just electrical parts. Yep, more electrical parts. So now we have eight electrical parts. I'm going to jump into this theater real quick. This is kind of one of the uh, ones I, I think this is one of the last ep last episode of season four was uh, made in here in this uh, theater here. Okay, so kind of one of the reasons I wanted to show this was I really don't know what to do with electrical parts a lot in the game. I usually just sell them to the trader, but this might be something good. So I can make uh, street lights only take forge. I'm sorry, wrong one. Porch light. Porch lights only take two forged iron and seven electrical parts so let's make some of those i'm gonna drop these feathers so let's make uh let's just make five and then you can also make ceiling lights for about the same so let's make five of those and then i'll go ahead and just make some street lights too just to see the difference okay and while that's going uh another tip i want to and this is what's going on is this it's in the these are being made in the workbench so while i'm going on i'm going to go and show how to make the forge and i'm gonna go over this in more detail in my next uh day my i did a day one tutorial so i'm gonna do a day two tutorial so i'm really gonna go into detail about that but i'm gonna quickly go over how to make a forge um and because i've had a lot of people ask like how to find the bellows and stuff like that so to make the bellows i'll go and just show it real quick and somebody asked in the comments is there a quick way to find this kind of intricate stuff and there's really not um, if you go to the, some of the stuff is only unlocked if you're in the workbench. So a lot of this stuff you can only see if you're in the, in the workbench. Um, like these, these lights and stuff, but let's go back. Like you can make the auger blade in the workbench and the chainsaw blade in the workbench and stuff like that. You really won't see that in the regular menu. So, uh, the bellows, there's two different types of bellows. You can, you can make the animal hide one or the leather. I recommend making the leather. So if you have a bunch of animal hide, you can turn that into leather, this craft leather. So that's what you need to make the bellows so if you're on the hunt for leather uh i don't think there's any in here i might have taken them all apart but well, let's go look upstairs real quick uh, a lot of these pois especially the passing gas if you can find a passing gas early we'll have these leather these leather couches so here's some up here this is going to give you a lot of leather right here let's see how much i got just from that i got six pieces of leather so let's just keep going A 
see how much I have now. I have 18, so I need two more pieces of leather. So if you find one of these, the working stiff tools usually has a bunch of leather. Just hack those apart. Now I have 22 pieces. So we also need a short iron pipe and some wood. And short iron pipes can really, if you're, if you're in a POI like this, try to find maybe a bathroom maybe. Let's see if I can find the bathroom over. I think it's over here. There's also a kitchen over here. You can get them from sinks and fridges. So let's take apart this uh, fridge here. I got a bunch of electrical opponents from that. I didn't get any pipes. So let's go um, a little bit. Let's go against this sink here. Um, there's my short iron pipe on the ground. It's falling out of my pocket. So let's drop the scrap plastics and we'll pick up that short iron pipe. Okay. Now I can make the bellows because I already have enough wood, leather, and a short. We need one short iron pipe. So take apart a sink, take apart a toilet. Now the bellows is crafting right there. And um, I'm, scra I'm scrapping these. Uh, whatchamacallit, uh, let's just cancel that. I was scrapping these, uh, I'm just gonna drop these. I had these barbed wire fences I was scrapping. So, the bellows is crafting. So what else do we need for the forge? We need clay soil. There it is. So we need small stone. I only have 17. We need lump of clay. We need the bellows and another short iron pipe. And I think then there's a short iron pipe on the ground here. There it is right there. So, I'll just show on the map real quick. If you go to the map, I'm in the wasteland, but if you go to the any of these brown spots right here is going to be clay soil in the wasteland. If you go to the uh, forest, any of these brown spots are going to be all going to be clay soil. And I've shown that a lot in my videos. I don't really feel like I need to show that again, but all of these, if you go to these, you can just put a little marker. Let's just pick this one right here. Just put a little waypoint. There's your clay soil. Go dig that up with a shovel and you got some clay soil. Okay, so that's how you're going to make a forge. Once you have those things, craft it, set it down. And I'm going to do an actual, uh, an advanced forge uh, tutorial pretty soon. But once you get the forge laid down, you want to start crafting um, forged iron. And you want to start crafting iron arrowheads. Those are the two big things you want to do. Forged iron is going to lead to a lot of stuff. Let's check our workbench. Looks like we have a lot of things crafted in here. Okay. So these switches, uh, ceiling, ceiling light O2, I got five of them. They're worth 792 coin. And then these porch lights, I got five of them. They're worth 792 coin. So that is an easy way to make some cash. Let's see how much this one's uh, worth here. This is one street light that I crafted. One of them is worth 368 coin. That's only one of them. I have four more crafting. So easy way to make some coin if you guys want. Um, all I did was you go to electrical parts, click on recipes, and you have to be in the workbench for this. And that's, these are the three I made right here. You need forged iron and electrical parts. Just, I mean, this, I mean, I'm just, how many can I craft right here? I can craft 125 right there with the parts and the forged iron that I have. That's a lot of coin. Take those to the trader and sell them. Really good way to make some easy, fast coin real quick. All right, well, since I laid down the workbench, another question I've been getting is how do you make the workbench? So if you just go over here, you type in, I'm just going to type in work. And get this thing down early if you can. It takes forged iron, mechanical parts, wrench, ball hammer, and wood. So the two hardest things to get are probably going to be the wrench and the mechanical parts. Mechanical parts can be found from uh, the leather chairs that you find, the leather... Uh, reclining chairs that you find. Uh, if you watch my videos, I found 28 mechanical parts from the passing gas. I took apart all of the gas pumps to so go for gas pumps and shopping carts. Those are your big mechanical parts. Get those. The claw hammer is a, is also, you're going to need the forge for that. So lay down your forge. The claw hammer is going to take forged iron and wood. So once you have enough forged iron made in your forge, then craft a claw hammer. Get that crafted. So that's how you make the workbench. You're gonna you're gonna get all those things. Uh, let me go back to it real quick. If you're wondering how do you what's the easiest way to find a wrench? Honestly, just searching. You're gonna find them underneath sinks, and you're gonna find them in cars. So those are the two places I found them most. So search every sink and every car you find. You will find one. Working stiff tools are a good one to go to also. So those are the things you need. Uh, just keep. Lay that down as quick as you can, and then once you get the workbench laid down, you know you can go into you can go into tools and you can make yourself 
uh, your own fire axe. You can make your own iron pickaxe. You can make your own iron shovel. You can make the sledgehammer, which is amazing. I love the sledgehammer. You can also make steel things, steel parts, and stuff like that. And I had somebody else point out, this is a really good thing. I'll go ahead and point it out real quick. To make steel items, you're going to have to get your construction tools to level 40. And they're going to have to unlock steel smithing. So construction tools, it says right here, has to be level 40. And that's an action skill. Construction is an action skill. So you get that by building things, by tearing things down, whatever. So upgrading your base, uh, everything. So that's how you make steel items. The steel pickaxe is a game changer. And Okay, my next tip is if you're kind of running around Navas Gain or maybe a, a, a random gym world or whatever, and you come into a house, some of the houses are going to have a forge already in there, and you can use that. You can just throw your own wood in there, and you can throw, you know, you don't need an anvil to make a whole bunch of stuff. You, it is good to make an anvil, and uh, if sometimes when you try to create things, let's uh, let's go to the cooking pot. I think you need an anvil to cook and make the cooking pot. So... Anvil required. So it'll say at the top, anvil required. So you can't make that. You can't make a cooking grill or a cooking pot without the anvil. So I just want to kind of show real quick how to make the anvil. You go into the forge. Anvil, it takes 200 iron and 20 clay. So just throw some iron. Get it smelting down here. Turn it on. Once you smelt down 200 iron and 20 clay, you can make the anvil. That's going to lead to a lot of different things. So, like I said, if you're running around Navas Gain or whatever, and you run in and there's a forge in there, you can use it real quick to make a cooking pot, a cooking grill, uh, some quick iron arrowheads real quick, but you're going to need the anvil first. So, some people think you have to find the anvil. No, you can make it in the forge and then just put it in there. And, like, the, the advanced the tool and the calipers, those lead to like other things you can create, like tools and weapons and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, what I was getting at, though, was if you do find this and you want to take the forge with you, I highly recommend it because it saves you resources having to do that. So um, what you want to do, and you can all you need is a stone axe and a wrench to take this thing with you. So it has 11, 1,100 points right now. I'm going to take it down. I'm going to switch to my steel pickaxe, though, just to save some time. Let's take it down to about a hundred. Okay, it's at 184, so I'm going to switch to my wrench now. And any level of wrench will be fine. Uh, let's take it down a little bit more. That's not doing very much. Oh, whoa. Okay, now we got down to 25. So I'm going to switch to my wrench. It just added the forge to my inventory. So now I have a forge. You can also do this with the workbench. So same thing, I'm going to take it down, down to 24, and the reason I do that is to save time. You can wrench this thing all the way down if you want. Now I have a workbench in my inventory, uh, right there. You can also do this with the Kim Station and the Cement Mixer. Uh, somebody asked me in the comments where to find the Cement Mixer. As far as I know, it's only at the Trader, as far as I know, and you cannot take the things apart at the Trader. It's locked. So you'll find Kim Stations in the back of Poppin' Pills. And you can find workbenches sometimes in the back of a work and stiff tools and sometimes in garages of houses. So you can find them there. So that's a tip. I don't know if you guys knew that, but take those apart. It saves you a lot of resources. Okay, I think that's going to do it. I just want to kind of throw these tips out there. Uh, still a lot of new players coming in. I have a day two tutorial coming out that I'm going to cover the forge a little more in depth and maybe the workbench too and kind of what to do on day two. I'm also going to have an, an actual advanced forge tutorial coming out and more of an advanced workbench tutorial coming out also. So keep an eye out for those. These are some quick tips I wanted to throw out there. If you guys have more tips, send them to me and I'll be sure to include them. Thanks guys. I'll see you later. Bye.